Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for teeny tiny boxes? No, I nerd for... <laughs> Big giant supply boxes. This is a Walking Dead supply box. Well, is that you underneath all that hair? Shit, I would not mess with you. No, I don't need to. Do you nerd? Do you nerd? <laughs> Seriously, this has got to be one of, if not the I biggest. This is the biggest mystery box, box I've ever seen. Mystery tried. box, yeah. And this thing probably has more stuff in it than anyone on The Walking Dead ever found when looking for supplies. <laughs> now, this is my second Walking Dead supply box because, if you remember from the last video, uh, I prematurely ordered the supply box because I was trying to get a certain item and it is in this box. Hopefully. So. I am very excited to see if it's actually in there and we'll give a second chance to the Walking Dead supply box. So first of all, it looks like the design for the box, it's kind of uh, some bloody, almost like butcher paper with mm -hmm. some twine Which wrapped I actually really it. like that. That's pretty clever for being, you know, a supply drop box. I think that's really neat. I really like that. I will probably be keeping this box. There's more blood on the inside. Oh, there is more, geez. All right, well. No spoilers, I won't show you the other side, but here is the Place card. mat. <laughs> yeah. You could laminate it and make it a place mat, but all the goodies are in here. And so, of course, on the back, it does list everything out, but like does. I said, no spoilers. No spoilers. So, first things first, since it's winter time in The Walking Dead, we get a nice little snow glow. All right. It's like the blizzard <laughs> on Walking oh, Dead when they were wow. walking through the blizzard. I mean, they like really did a good job with that. Yeah, they did. And it's glass. Ooh. So. First of all, impressive packing, guys, because obviously it made it here in one piece. Yep. I love snow globes. Snow globes are one of my favorite things. I always look for them when I go on vacations and stuff. But there's the walker in the snow. It's just hanging out, trying to make some snow zombies. It's yep. when you like start flapping your arms and then one of the arms comes off so you're, it's a little offsided. <laughs> My poor little zombie man. Not only is there a lot of snow in there, but the figure actually does have some good detail all around, which is kind of pleasing to the eye. I actually like that the snow will gather on the zombie. You know, a lot of times, sometimes you don't get a very good amount of stuff inside of a snow globe because they still want you to be able to see what's in the snow globe, but this definitely represents that episode where they were in the blizzard. Next thing in the box, which continues the butcher paper bloodiness, is a greeting card set. A pack of four unique designer cards. Yeah, looking well, right that's, at you. That's not something you want to look down <laughs> at. You want to look up at a hole and you're like, oh, hello, zombies. That's pleasant. Well, wishing you were here. Hey, <laughs> I bet this is what Glenn saw. <gasps> oh, too soon. Too soon. But he lived through that experience. By the way, called it. He, she didn't believe me, no, but I called it. No. All right. Next, we have Rick's little zombie chick who was uh, like, hey, hey, come back. Hey. I tried to visit you in the hospital, but you wouldn't say hi. Well, in this one says happy birthday. I'm not okay. Sure, not sure that says very, happy birthday on the very front. Very specific. But, you know. <laughs> and then we've got the uh, zombie that was squeezing through the semi truck bottleneck that, like, ripped his guts open. By the way, this guy is great. Lose 20 pounds. Ask me how. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and we got some bloody fingerprints on the inside of that one. Was that, was that me? Did was that, you, was I told you to wash your hands. So we've got Mr. or Mrs. I'm not sure if it's a man or a woman. Uh, tree zombie. That's uh, eligible bachelor number one for you, Poison <laughs> Ivy. Blank on the Just inside. The so that's okay. not bad. These are real fun because you can do a bunch of stuff with them. You can either send them actually out as cards if you wanted to. You can frame them and po put them around the house or whatever. Oh, yeah. A bunch of little creepy family photos. Hey, guys, come on over and look at the gang. Um, this one would be great over the toilet. Nope. No. Nope. Yeah, make sure you get out of there real fast. I don't need help peeing that much faster. Thank you. Next in the box, we've got a Funko. 
So first of all, I like that they put the little mystery sleeve on. I mean, you can kind of get an idea of the mm -hmm. top, but it's, it, you know, kind of adds to that suspense. What could it be? Do you have any guesses? Um, don't think it's going to be an A-lister, you know, not like your Daryl or anyone, you know, stuff like that. I feel like they want to make sure you buy. But this is still probably going to be a fun one, so maybe Merle with a knife. Close. We got Alpha with a knife. And it's got a sticker on the front. It does have a sticker on the front. It's a supply drop box exclusive. Nice. Oh, did you hear that, uh, Funko fans? Not a bobble this time. Okay. And uh, not bloody, but dirty. We got dirty, dirty, dirty girl. A dirty, filthy slob. <clears throat> a dirty, dirty, dirty. I just want to comment that the top and back of her head kind of looks like a semi charred marshmallow. I can see that. It also kind of looks Rorschachy a little bit. And a lot of really good detail in her costume. Behind her, she's got her little um, sawed off shotgun, which, if you don't take these out of the box, you'll never know and see. Good point. And she does come with her little pl little plastic disc stand so she can stand up. Which is great for fun. Yeah, because she's a little top heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's whisper and talk amongst the undead. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, next we have a fleece blanket. Oh, okay. And it looks okay. like we have Daryl and Dog on here, so. Nice, sending us the dog's blanket, yeah. guys. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh. So this is a little different than what the picture shows, because the picture shows a scenic picture with Dog and Daryl, and this is just Dog on here with elements of Daryl. So you've got his crossbow, his wings, the, the flower that he gave uh, Carol season one. We got a skull and crossbones. Well, a skull and cross arrows, I guess. <laughs> so that's nice. It's a real nice soft fleece blanket. Isn't that nice? And then on the other side, it's just solid black. That's really nice. It's a good long length, so you can yeah. like lay on the couch and watch The Walking Dead and be all cuddly. Oh yeah, the yeah the. The scaredy cuddle blanket Ooh, for yes, sure. Oh yes, you can hold it up for <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. That's nice. That, I like it that feels, blanket. It feels really soft. I actually like this better than I thought from the picture. Because I'm not a big fan of like the blankets with like the big like, like you've taken a picture and printed it on right. the blanket. I'm not a big fan of those. Yeah, doing the design like, is a little yeah, more fun. I like fun. this I like design, design to it. So that's awesome. And I love dog. I will be very sad if they ever decide to kill dog. I always get worried every episode, too, because he's like, Dog, go do this! And I'm like, no, he's gonna get killed! Hey. 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 Oh. Okay. That dog, you better poop those golden nuggets, you know what I'm saying? And last, but not least, the thing that oh. I wanted this box for. They even gift-wrapped it and everything. I know, they gift-wrapped it and everything. So... Any guesses as to what this is that made me want to get this box? Well, I don't know what made you want to get the box, but looking at this design on the front, this seriously looks like like dinnerware. You know, like like you get your nice little crystal, you know, uh, like dining set or something. That's what I first think of. Well, when you open the box, yeah, <laughs> nice. We have a nice picture of Mama Just Carol. Cookies, yeah. Here it is. This, this close. It's a cookie tray, or well, any kind of tray if you if you want. Now, the fun thing about this is it's very practical, and if you don't look closely at it, it's just a really pretty piece of china. Mm -hmm. But you've got your brass knuckles here yeah. on the outside. Yeah. And then when you look a little closer, you've got her knife that has the brass knuckles in it. Knuckle knife. And then that the flower that you know. Look at the flowers, and then again the flower from the first season. And then you have a nice little saying that says, and you'll get cookies. Lots of cookies. This was what Chris Hardwick made me want to get and fooled me into getting an extra box. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I am so glad this came. Um, it's, a, it's a good, decent size. Because, I mean, you can take this and still be nerdy. And people don't necessarily know you're being nerdy. Here, yeah, you'll, I've brought you cookies. Yeah, you'll have it there on the table and, you know, your aunt or uncle are going to be looking at it and it's going to hit them all of a sudden and be like, 
those brass knuckles on that? What kind of plate did she bring? I mean, if you look at it, it just looks like a really pretty design, you know? So you just kind of have to look real close at it. That's that. Is that that now, Mrs. That's That? And then, like I said, with our placemat, <laughs> you flip it over, and there's all your stuff on it. Oh. And bonus, Carol's cookie recipe. Nice. So maybe I'll make you some cookies and give them to you uh, on a plate. Oops. You better hope that there's not like a shiv or something baked into them. <laughs> So it goes through everything that was in the box. It does. It lets you know. It's got a little. And then yeah, it does have extra. a little um, Snapchat. Maybe I haven't checked it out yet, but maybe maybe it's zombified stuff. Maybe you can zombify yourself up. This was a good box. I really this like was, this box. Yeah. I like this one a lot better than the first box because there's more things in here that appeal to me. Like I love blankets because you can never have too many blankets. They're very practical. True. I've always been a super fan of snow globes. So adding another snow globe is awesome. <laughs> And I like it because it's not necessarily like Christmassy, but it's snowy, so you could leave it out all year if you wanted yeah, to, you know? Very. And of course my cookie tray. <laughs> so now this is a quarterly box. It correct? is a quarterly box, yes. And so you said it was the cookie tray that initially made you want to get the box and because the timing was off, we yeah. ended up with the two. Yes. Do you think you would go for another box? I'm not sure. Okay. Um based on the first box, no. Based okay. on this box, Fair. yes, but I did cancel a bunch of recurring boxes so that I could try other new ones. So I don't know if I'll continue this one without checking out some other ones first and then kind of deciding if there's one that I really liked. But yeah, this was a good box. I'm very pleased with this one. It's good quality stuff, a lot of stuff. And as a bonus, Paul approves of the box as well, which on the inside is just all bloody. Yep. And that blood better not get on my cookies. That's one of the secret ingredients. It's how you get your iron. There it is. Too much iron in your blood. All right, nerdlings, there you go. So please be sure to leave in the comments down below what you think of this box, especially if you're a Walking Dead fan. How do they do with this one? Do you like some of the more practical items, mm -hmm. some of the more unique items? Maybe for the Funko Pop fans, what did you think of the exclusive with the unmasked alpha? Curious to know if in stores you could find a mask. Or maybe she was alpha. just the bloody version and this is the dirty version. Could be. Because I've seen him do that a few times. <laughs> so be sure to leave those comments down below. Let us know what you think. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell because like the lady said, we should maybe check it out some more boxes soon. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram so that you can see when a video has dropped so that you know what box we just might be checking out next so you can see where we're going out and about in the real world, nerdlings, because we go lots of places. And don't forget to get over there and head us up on Retro Refresh. Oh, yeah. This is a website with a bunch of awesome creators, especially if you're into retro gaming. These guys are not going to steer you wrong because we have creators from all over the world. Ooh, yeah. So make sure you check all those awesome channels out and we've got merchandise over there on t public so go over there and pick up some merch because we're always trying to throw some new stuff up there every now and again and if we like it we nerd it so i'm changing it's okay i have cookies uh, <laughs>